some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Mm. 
nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Red liquid is oozing out. No, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. It's not just any railway guide, it's an ABC. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. I can't see any other mark on the floor. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. The door is locked. The till does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. mechanism has just made a fan click. The till is full of money, but there is something strange. Something is hidden underneath. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Blood. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds?
an inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashes were a lovely couple when they were young. What a strange box. This button appears to activate the mechanism. That should do it. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drauer. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. I've finished with this subject. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. I heard a faint sound as if something was unlocked. Medicine. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Asher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman.
From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank is Field Road and Dover. To Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road and Dover. Dear Mrs. Asher, Further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. This interior is very simple. Mrs. Asher lived very simply, 